we are coming at you again with another great lesson today and Miss Jill. Yeah. What 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 are you doing? I'm writing with my Sharpie. All right. Well, uh, the Sharpie's kind of small, so we could make it bigger. Okay. Why don't we supersize it? Well, what's that? Hold on, I'll show you. Boom. That's much better. So, Miss Jill asked what it means to supersize something, and I'm going to tell you. Well, Miss Jill, do you like to go out to eat? Of course. Do you like to go through drive throughs Of course. We know you got to get your sweet tea. Of course. Well, do you know the most popular restaurant in the whole world? Chick-fil-A? It's not Chick-fil-A. It's actually McDonald's. Because McDonald's has all these restaurant locations all across the globe. Well, what is it that makes McDonald's so popular anyway? Is it that they serve the best food in the world? Definitely not. We all know the best food in the world is Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. But McDonald's is so popular because of two words. Are you ready? Yes. It's super size. So when you go to McDonald's, you can get a regular medium sized drink and you can get some regular fries and you can even get one cheeseburger. But if you walk in the restaurant and say, I want to supersize it, then you get a large drink, two cheeseburgers, and a large fry. That's an even better deal. Did you know that the Bible tells us that God can do a lot with just a little? God will supersize whatever you give him. Let's see if Miss Amy has a Bible story for us that helps us understand how God supersized a simple act of kindness. Hello everyone, let me tell you a story. One day, Jesus was talking to a group of people and that group of people was 5,000, 5,000 people, men, women, and children, that's a lot. And he talked to them all day. And in the evening, they started to get hungry. And so the disciples came to Jesus and said, maybe we should send them all back so that they could go into the towns nearby and get something to eat. And Jesus said, no, we will feed them. And the disciples said, well, how can we do that? It would take us at least a year to get that much money to feed all of these people. And while the disciples were talking to Jesus, one of the disciples named Andrew looked down and he saw a boy walking with his lunch. And he ran up to the boy and the boy had a lunch something like this. He had five loaves of bread and two fishes. And Andrew, the disciple, ran back to Jesus and said, so this boy had five loaves of bread and two fishes. What can we do with that small lunch? And Jesus said, pass it out to those 5,000 people. And so the disciples passed out those five loaves of bread and two fishes to all 5,000 people. And guess what? Everyone had enough to eat. In fact, there was so much food that there were leftovers. They collected 12 baskets of leftover fish and bread. Can you believe that? It was a miracle. It was a miracle. God uses what we offer him to do wonderful things, even if it's something very small. So put your trust in him and give God all that you have. That was a great story. I'm sure no one in that crowd that day would have thought that that little boy mattered so much or that what he carried in his little basket would have been so important. This little boy with a little bit of fish and a little bit of bread was chosen by God to help out with a miracle. There are many examples in the Bible where God uses people, not because they're perfect, not because they have power, or that they're very rich, or that they're super talented. God uses the ones who love him and who are willing to give what they have and use the tools that he gives us. Remember God's toolbox that we talked about just a few weeks ago? When God called Moses to lead his people out of Egypt, Moses felt that he was not qualified of being a good leader, but he was willing to serve. So God provided him with supersized abilities to be a great leader of the Israelites. When God called the 12 disciples and Paul the apostle to start the Christian church, he helped supersize their efforts and many other believers began to share the good news of Jesus. Today, there are billions of Christians in the world who love Jesus. God can supersize our heartfelt efforts 
so that we can make a huge difference in the world. God can do a lot with just a little. He can supersize it. I love my supersized ketchup bottle. And I love that God uses ordinary people like you and me to do his work. The unnamed boy in the story who had a lunch to share made a powerful difference. I smile when I think about the choices he had that day. He could have hidden his lunch and no one would have known it was there. He could have said, no way, don't take my lunch. You should have brought your own. But instead he said, I don't have much, but you are welcome to all of it. I think that was the right choice, don't you? The boy did not have to give his lunch. He chose to share it and he expected nothing in return. That's what we call a cheerful giver. God can use us too and he loves a cheerful giver, whether we're sharing our time, our talents, or our money. No gift is too small when we're sharing it for God from the heart. What may seem unimportant to us is very important to God. So let's see what would happen if I give to God with a cheerful heart and you give to God with a cheerful heart and others give to God with a cheerful heart. It supersizes really fast, right? Miss Jill is going to show us a way that we can combine our cheerful giving to make a huge impact in the world today. Let's check it out. Yes, a little can make a lot, like with our Kingdom Kid Heifer International Project. Heifer International is a mission organization that works to end hunger around the world by providing animals and training to struggling farmers and their communities. Over the past year and a half, the Kingdom Kids have been helping others in need by saving loose change or earning money by doing chores and bringing it to church and dropping it into our collection bins. We have had bins that are cows, sheep, goats, llamas, and even bees and trees, just to name a few. Once our bins get full, we send the money to Heifer and choose a farm animal to buy for a family in need. This animal will help them earn money for food and medicine. These few coins I have here don't seem like a lot, but when I take the little I have and you take the little you have and we put it together with the little from the other kingdom kids, it makes a lot. It is supersized. It makes so much that we have been able to purchase a cow, a sheep, an alpaca, rabbits, chicks, bees, and even trees. We are now saving our coins to purchase a water buffalo. Well, let's go back to this whole McDonald's thing. Have you ever noticed the collection bin for change under the drive-thru window or the collection bin inside the McDonald's? The McDonald's restaurants collect money for the Ronald McDonald's houses. These houses serve as a home away from home for families with children that are very sick and have to stay in the hospital. These houses provide somewhere close to the hospital where the families can sleep, eat, and shower and still be together while their child is in the hospital. And the big deal is, it's free! All the money collected in the bins at McDonald's goes to help buy the supplies needed to run these homes away from home. So all this little change is collected and put together and is what, Miss Jill? Supersized! People all over the world become helpers to serve God and help bless families with sick children. Another neat thing is that the money earned from the pop tabs we collect in Kingdom Kids and the other schools and organizations collect goes to help the Ronald McDonald houses too. That's pretty cool. Hey Kingdom Kids, it's Miss Melinda and Lila and Violet again. And the name of today's song is Little People Can Do Big Things. Now you've learned in the lesson today that no matter how little you are, no matter how young you are, God can use you to do something amazing. We can all do good things in this world. We're gonna learn the chorus first and Violet's gonna use our pom-pom when we do it, okay? So we say, little people can do big things. Little people can do big things. We've got big brains, we've got big hearts, we're gonna do our part. We can do big things. This is the way it goes. You ready, Violet? Ready, Lila? Here we go. Little people can do big things. 
Little people can do big things. We've got big brains, we've got big hearts. We're gonna do our part. We can do big things. And this is the verse that I will sing for you. Think about baby Moses. His safety was in doubt until his sister Miriam stepped in to help him out. And then we do the chorus again. Little people can do big things. Little people can do big things. We've got big brains, we've got big hearts. We're gonna do our part, we can do big things. And then we're gonna sing about Jeremiah. Think about Jeremiah. He wasn't very old, but God called him to spread the word, to speak it loud and bold. Then we're going to do our chorus again. Little people can do big things. Little people can do big things. We've got big brains. We've got big hearts. We're going to do our part. We can do big things. Let's do the chorus one more time, ladies. You want to? Little people can do big things. Little people can do big things. We've got big brains. We've got big hearts. We're going to do our part. We can do big things. Remember that, Kingdom Kids. Each and every one of you can do big things. Have an awesome week, and we will see you again next week. Bye-bye. Are you ready to be supersized? Today we learned that God uses ordinary people of faith like you and me to do His work. You are important to God and you can make a powerful difference when you give to the Lord with a cheerful heart. No gift to God is too small and He will supersize your efforts to grow His kingdom. We can never outgive God because He blesses us in so many ways, but we can come together in prayer, service, and giving and God will multiply it into supersized blessings. Isn't that cool? Our friend Mr. Rogers had another great quote. He said, it's not so much what we have in life that matters. It's what we do with what we have. Those are great words to live by boys and girls. So this week, go do your best and let God do the rest and get supersized. See you next time. Bye.